Pathology is a study of suffering. It is really important for understanding disease. There are two important terms that we have to understand for clarifying pathological fields. The first one is etiology. Etiology explains why disease arises. The term refers to underlying causes of disease. And the second one is pathogenesis. Pathogenesis explain how a disease develops. This term clarifies mechanism and progression of disease. When we understand etiology and pathogenesis of a disease, this will help to find rational and effective treatment. Cellular changes and adaptive responses. Changes experienced by cells in response to physiological or pathological stimuli. These changes usually make cells more tolerable for the new circumstances. Intracellular milieu of cells is normally tightly regulated by a state referred to as homeostasis. When actual circumstances change, cells are trying to achieve a new steady state and preserving viability and function. Hypertrophy is an increase in the size of cells resulting in an increase in the size of an organ. In contrast, hyperplasia is an increase in cell number. Metaphasia is a change in phenotype of differentiated cells, often in response to chronic irritation, that makes cells better able to withstand the stress. Atrophy Decreased cell and organ size as a result of decreased nutrient supply. Dysplasia Disorder Precancerous epithelial cell growth Not considered a true adaptive response. If the adaptive response is exceeded or external stress is excessive, cell injury develops. Within certain limits, injury is reversible. However, if the stress is severe, persistent or rapid in onset, it results in irreversible injury and with severe clinical manifestations. These adaptions include hypertrophy, enlargement of individual cells, hyperplasia, increase in cell number, atrophy, reduction in size and cell number, Metaplasia, transformation from one type of epithelium to another, and dysplasia, disordered growth of cells. Reversible cell injury. The injured cells can return to normal if the damaging stimulus is removed. In the reversible injury, cells and intracellular organelles become swollen because water intake happens due to lack of ion channels. Degenerated organelles and lipids may accumulate in the intracellular matrix in some forms of injury. The initial phase of injury is reversible. The hallmark of reversible injury is cellular swelling. If the damage continues, it becomes irreversible cell injury. The hallmark of irreversible cell injury is membrane damage. The end result of irreversible injury is cell death. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.